Hey everyone, Carl Barnowski at the Barnowski Financial Group. And yes, it is that time of week again when I get to shake things loose a little bit, hopefully make you smile. And this week I'm going to make you scratch your head because I got some real winners for you. So here we go. Who was the cliff behind the cliff note? Remember those yellow books that we used to buy before the internet to basically cheat? Well, Clifton Keith Heilgas was the cliff behind the cliff note, that old high school and college friend of the shortcut. He started his company way back in 1958, and when he originally published 16 Shakespearean study guides. I owned a few of those, I'm proud to say. All right, who was the inventor of Pringles? Well, Pringles were first sold back in 1967. P&G wanted to create the very perfect potato chip. Apparently, they were tired of all the complaints about broken, stale, greasy chips, as well as the air in, their ba in, the, in the potato chip bags. So they went out and they hired Frederick Bauer, who invented the Pringles can. And actually, when he died in 2008, his ashes were buried in a Pringles can. There you go. What, was, what is nearly the exact same length from your forearm to the inside of your wrist. That'd be the length of your foot. Nobody get injured while you're trying to do that, by the way. What percentage of people on the planet have never made a phone call? This is gonna blow your mind. 50% of the planet has never made a phone call or received one. Hard to believe without, with all the cell phones that are floating around out there. And last one, Betsy Ross, JFK, Jackie O, and Daniel Boone all have something in common. They all were on the Pez dispenser. Remember those little plastic things that spit out candy? That's right, they all had their own. Anyway, did you know that during World War II, Tootsie Rolls were actually included in the rations for our troops because of their durability in any weather conditions? True story. Did you know that Alan Shepard's longest golf shot on the lunar surface back in 1971 was no more than 50 feet? Apparently didn't keep his head down and get his hips through. Anyway, did you know that Winston Churchill was born in a ladies room in a dance hall? And did you know that two thirds of the eggplant that's produced on the planet comes from the great state of New Jersey? That's all I got for you this week. Hey, if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. If you got an annuity that's bugging you, click that annuity report card button on this page. If you need help with guaranteed income for life or social security planning, Click those buttons as well. And obviously, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and definitely link up with us on LinkedIn. Stay well.